playing NBA 2K, we have been able to rely on our shooting to circumvent doing the right basketball play so often that we think that is normal. And it shouldn't be like that. Like people just don't pass the basketball. Like you see me standing in the corner in the house of randoms all the time. And I just never get the ball. But I'm shooting the highest percentage in the entire game. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. <laughs> Okay, man, check this out, man. That's always full disclosure, man. Now, listen, I ain't expect nobody to really hit this video up, man, because this is our video yesterday. To the moon! Now, this, hey, man, listen, this was uh, the reveal for what's going to be happen, um, happening in season two or what have you, but the video from, you know, before on yesterday, hey, man, you know, it was talking about they updated some of the random wizard uh, uh, stuff. We're going to try to get random wizard on the show this week, man. So, like I said, those are kind of repeat videos. And uh, they didn't do the greatest. Didn't expect them to do the greatest. But who are the greatest is you guys here on the Noti Gang Wall of Fame coming through. Hey, showing us, man. Y'all showed plenty of love on them videos yesterday, man. So, uh, look, I, I appreciate you guys a whole lot. I ain't doing the best today, man. Like, this, this is one of them days where I think I need to get outside, get some sunlight. And just, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just got to vibe with the family and all that. That's why we had LJ in the, uh, in the, in the beginning, man. And then, uh, you know, because like I said, man, you know, some days when you're feeling down, hey, your kids are the only thing that make you feel better, man. And then top comment from yesterday, man. Hey, then, man, it said double upload to the moon. Hey, man, y'all know that's what we love, man. But look, that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about today is that boy Mike Wong has been talking about some of the stuff and we're gonna talk about all of it in one second but before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below y'all already know we're trying to go for the third time to the moon Alice. and if nobody told you this today y'all my brothers my sisters my family love each and every last one of y'all with all that out of the way yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk of the people's town coming to you live with another video part of why i might not be doing too well man listen, listen man look this is right here all be all city big heck he just said it straight up man i'm scrolling down my timeline uh down my timeline and i'm glad that i'm a negative win percent casual bot because being comp sounds miserable i'm telling you bro like hey listen when i'm telling you that this is why i come in here i can play in the house of the randoms and i can just play with everybody do do my thing not get mad not be upset I, I can somehow I'm able to hold a 72, 75, something, something like that, win percent. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm just playing the game. I'm just having fun. And like I said, for a lot of games, that's when the games really go, go to pot is when people, you know, when they try to bring the competitive side into it. Now we got to standardize everything. Now everything got to be like this. Now everything got to be like that. And some people just want to genuinely get on, play the game, have fun and all of that. It happened to Call of Duty. It feels like it's slowly happening in the 2K. And I ain't a lot of y'all. When you play in the house of randoms, hey, it's not the greatest gameplay by you or the or the people that you're playing with. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Sometimes you're playing this joint, man, and it's like you're trying so hard to compensate for your teammates that you do things that you normally wouldn't do if you had, you know, your squad. So, hey, it is what it is. Also, my boy, hey, my boy, uh, one of the compiest of the comp, Mr. Tens of Thousands. Hey, man, he says, I wish I could, I wish I could have a conversation with Baluba to get him some honest feedback on getting clarification and understanding in regards to shooting because I see so many conflicting messages. You're absolutely right, man. Like, like we see a lot of people like yesterday, Mike, uh, he dropped the, uh, he, he dropped this one thing. Um, and we're going to talk about that in one second. And I'm going to tell you what, what I mean about the conflicting messages or what have you. My boy Delay said, hey, he said, this is probably the reason that I'm tucked. I'm tired of uh, I'm tired of breaking stuff. And so they said the game is in shambles. And the reason they're saying the game is in shambles is because of this right here. Dude is releasing the ball very late. That's very late. And then it says slightly early. And so this is something that, like, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to go in there and check that out and look at it. But... A lot of people are backing this up because uh, we seeing this right here. This is from Sean RKL, and he's saying, "Lay, like, it's just like, bro, this is literally. There's literally no way that this is all a coincidence. We're all, uh, we'll all just randomly having the exact same problem starting at the exact same time. What happened with NBA 2K24 shooting? And so we just gonna go over here. That boy Splashy never wants to hold his tongue, man. I, I, I know I rock with Splashy, man. We gotta get him on the podcast. He said, went into the pro program and purposely am trying to, uh, trying." so hard i mean trying your shooting and uh shoot wait wait trying to oh, okay try, okay trying to shoot it slightly early and the joint keeps saying slightly late um i'm shooting on purpose i'm tapping the button 
why does it say uh, why does it keep saying that i'm slightly late so he said he's just tapping the button and letting it go and uh it's saying that he's slightly late uh then we got sean rkl and he and he said hey man he ain't got he got no dog in the fight at all he says i'm saying dang that's slightly early i look down and it's literally late bro what the world am i playing dog and then hey Iggy Mo says late popping up when you know dang on well that you just shot a very early that that is crazy and then uh, uh you bots one of the best uh, the, the, uh one of the best to ever do it uh he just says it's uh, i'll be i'll be saying the same thing that's early and that joint be late i'll uh, be slightly late man so a lot of people are saying the exact same thing with that man i don't understand that i ain't got no i don't have no nothing for that i don't know how that could be happening um except for the fact that i just got to the point where i don't even look at that shot timing because i was telling brute bro like i know like the thing it'd be saying it's contested some of them joints say they're contested they're not contested sometimes it'll say they're not contested and it was clearly contested because you got the speed up and all of that so so like like I said, I don't I don't pay no attention. And y'all already see that this dude was getting killed, so I had to switch myself on to the point guard. These are the type of things that you have to do in the house of randoms if you want to be successful. Then you got to do things that they don't expect you to do, like hit wide open shots, tray ball, yeah. Like I said, I'm not really experiencing the whole the whole thing, but like I said, bro, like this is this is what I do. I shoot wide open shots. I don't shoot anything else. And like I said, looking at this, I can tell y'all straight up the way that I caught the ball. That's gonna be the fast catch. Um, that's gonna be the faster catch because he caught it at his chest above the waist. I waited for a second, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, Mike Wong, he said this right here. Hey, he says, shooting, uh, this is what he dropped yesterday, shooting in the 5T5 control, uh, you know, play now online in my team will be a bit more challenging slash skill based with this morning's update. Wide open green windows also got a small buff in Pro-Am and Annie up. And so then Brian said, I can finally shoot in Pro-Am again, let's go. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, completely transparent. Um, um, let me see, let me see. Uh, I'll see the big hex says, is the my team shooting difficulty increased in all modes to just online? And then so Mike, uh, Mike had actually come back and said, you know, uh, it's just online or what have you. And then he says, uh, what's, you know, a small buff, easier, harder, slightly bigger green windows when wide open. He says, even on current gen, he says, yes. And he says, so did, uh, so did you do this with the wreck? And he said, uh, with the last patch, and he says, Rec and Park got a similar buff last week. So everybody's happy, everybody's doing this, everybody's done, blah, 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 yakety smackety, and the 2K community forgot one thing that they don't do. They don't take wide open fucking shots. Every shot is either contested or it's open. And you thought it was open, but it's not open like, like this right here. It's gotta be wide open. So if you don't say, if they, if they buff wide open shots, and you don't take wide open shots like this right here. How would you know if it changed? Cause I watched a lot of Pro-Am last night. I watched a lot of Pro-Am and the overwhelming majority of people that I watched, some people were taking good shots, but the overwhelming majority of people that I saw, I, when, when, this, when it said wide open, it was going in. And when it wasn't wide open, it probably wasn't going in in the Pro-Am or what have you. Also, you have to take what the game defines as a good shot. A lot of people have not caught on to it, Jen. I'm telling you, that transition three, the game don't see that as a good shot. If somebody's rolling to the rim and he's wide open and uh, you pass and you don't pass it, sometimes sometimes the game don't see that as a good shot. I think we gotta, like, like, it, and and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't have to, I guess people, we shouldn't have to do all this thinking or whatever just to play basketball. But at the same time, I'm just like, like the game shouldn't dictate what is a good shot or what have you. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm just saying that I'm not really experiencing the issue. So with that being the case, it's like, uh, it's hard for me to be on one side or the other. So I got to stay neutral. Hey, so T Nay, Nay said, so we fixed shooting. That's what Mike Wong said. And he said, mind you, this is one of the best locks in the game. And, uh, and he's shooting uh with his take and so we're gonna look at this right here and, and more or less it's crazy because like i said i'm gonna tell you straight up i'm gonna tell you straight up at nine like six o'clock uh coming down the court right here uh well let me see let's see what happened we got we got to see what happened on the first one so uh I, I don't even know what what, what he's talking about really all right okay so is this the first shot boom okay coming down the game don't see this as a good shot this is that transition three that I'm talking about. And plus, what's your one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, that's, you, you're pretty deep, but you got take. But I'm telling you, the game don't see this as a good shot. It's stupid. As dumb as it is, the game don't see that transition three as a good shot. 
I seen people take that joint like a hundred times over the last couple of days. They don't, they don't, they don't let you make that shot. They should let you make the shot. The game should never be able to dictate, you know, dictate what's good and bad or whatever. And then at this point in time, we don't know. That's just that fast one. That fast one is impossible to catch up with, and that's the fast one again. That they're impossible to catch up with. So like, what I would say, like, I mean, yeah, you should be able to hit these shots, especially in take. But I ain't gonna lie, like, and then that says that that says that that, that was wide open. Even though it says it was wide open, come on, bro. We know we know that wasn't wide open. But it is just one of them things where I, I understand these things about the game and I see them, but like I just guess we just don't want to take because like what what you can say whatever you want to. That the game doesn't see this as a wide open shot. And y'all know what I'm talking about. When you take that shot and then you get that random speed up because somebody was just in the area, the game doesn't see that as an open shot, even though it said uh wide open and slightly early. And then like I said, these two right here. I mean, you just got to really set your feet and, and shoot them joints, man. Especially after you missed the first one. Because you might have missed three by now. Like, we don't know how many shots you have missed. And we know that fast one, again, is impossible to catch up with. And then right here, I probably would have waited and then shot it again. But that's above the chest. So, them fast ones, I... I don't know. If y'all can hit those fast ones with regularity, y'all let me know. But I'm hitting those at like a 10% clip. That's why I kept changing my jump shot. But like I said, it, it sucks, but that's just how that is. Up next, we got Baluba talking about some stuff. And he says, oh, this is what All City Big Heck said. He says, apparently, Baluba, Mike Wong was in Iggy Mo. And I'm not excusing that. He should have hit those shots, no lie. The game should never dictate what shots you can hit or what you cannot hit. But I'm just telling you the reason for it. It's not, it's not that that's an excuse and that it should be that way. I'm just telling you that this is how this game is. And those those fast ones are very nearly impossible to catch up with and i think this by design which is not not the greatest design but it is what it is and that transition three you're just not gonna hit it uh let me see apparently uh the, apparently the 2k architect mike wong was in Iggy Mode stream last night interacting with the community and and here are some of the highlights regarding limitless range shooting uh as i suspected limitless is more like tma 2 2k 22 uh when it was split into two separate badges and no one really used it so he said Mike says, uh, limitless is stupid. 30 foot bomb shouldn't be a regular thing. I agree with that. Uh, you should, you should be able to hit them, but you shouldn't be able to rely on it and plan your offense around it is what, is what I think he's saying. He says, I want limitless to be, to impact, uh, three to five feet behind the three point line. So yeah, if you just caught it there, you just need to shoot it. Then you can shoot it. Uh, but right now there's a dead zone that's not affected by limitless. And we can definitely see that because when you, when you stand deep hash, it's anybody's guess if you're gonna hit that. And he says, I agree with Splashy. I'm not saying that the hot, I'm not saying I can't hot fix the badge. Um, I can only increase the badge's effectiveness in its current state. And so it says, uh, which, which would buff 30 foot and beyond, but not 24 to 30 foot. So like, it, it's one of them things. And I guess he just really don't want to do it because it's a, it's a crazy badge and you shouldn't be able to play your offense around it. And he says, no good guard is shooting 20% from three. I ain't gonna lie though, boy. Look at some of them, some of them uh, joints last night. Boy, I beg to differ. Jesus, bro, people were shooting bad last night. But in my mind, they weren't taking good shots. That's in my mind. But like I said, I don't play Pro-Am. I probably need to play and just see how really bad it is. But it was just like, I would see one person splashing, somebody would be three for four, that's taking good wide open catch and shoot shots and stuff like that. And then I see somebody like be one for 19, they just keep taking bad shots in my opinion. Like they bad, they step backs, they fades, you know, but the pull ups they were hitting and stuff like that or the quick stops and stuff. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section. Hey, so now we just go right here. He says, hey, we talking for whites to come back. This is Toxic says at Baluba, can we bring back making whites? I never thought I'd see the day that the community would ask for whites to come back when we begged so hard for green only. I mean, I don't know, man. And that was one of the things that's keeping us from being sensational. But hey, it is what it is. Up next, hey, she's, <laughs> it is Zabri as fuck. He said, he went to the Iggy Mode streams and he says, how many of you guys are using this? Bro, I don't know, man. Like, like, did, did, I, is this the real Mike or what, bro? I, I, is this, I, I don't know, man, how many of you guys are using this? Is he just joking? Like, I, I think, I would like to think that if, if this is the real Mike, right, then it's gotta be, um, it's gotta be, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's gotta be that he has a real sense of humor and y'all gotta learn how to take things in jest because he does have a sense of humor. He is a human being. Uh, we see this down here and he says, I don't know if this is, if I got this up here, but he says, uh, he says, I'll get rid of the defense related speed ups uh, first and then we'll see if timing is more consistent or whatever. So he's trying to see, he understands that, that people think the timing is inconsistent. So he's trying to help with that. Uh, he says, um, 
And he said, Mike Wong says, uh, you think you think wide opens need to be buffed more? I don't think they need to be buffed more, man. I, I don't know, man. I'm hitting my shots, bro. So I can't really, I can't, I'm like, Dolph, I can't relate. I, I'm sorry. And he says, uh, somebody asked about lateral quickness uh, in the perimeter D was, was tied to speed. And he, Mike says, lateral quickness is tied to perimeter D, not speed. But the speed, D, uh, the speed, D to the 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 del deltas oh deltas I'm bragging bro but the speed deltas are not strong enough uh we're going to tweak it in a in the next patch so more or less what he's saying is that the uh the change in speed is not that's what the delta mean the change in speed or the delineation between the the def, the definitions between the changes in speed are not strong enough so if if more or less what he's saying is if um if the change delta is changing so when you when you're saying the deltas in the speed is not is not strong enough he's saying that that the difference between maybe a 70 speed and an 80 speed is not strong enough so they're going to change that but that happens in a lot of 2ks because the centers are able to stick guards on a lot of 2ks at the beginning and then they change it and then you realize how slow you are uh up next hey he said like we said we already got this bar they got the pat bill standing them now and bust kingdom come y'all y'all know that pat bill so he said we're gonna we're gonna change that so we'll see see how that works out uh limitless range like you said we already looked at that um and like i said i had a lot of these because ja had a lot of the stuff that all city big heck had so uh like i said the defensive related speed ups i don't really know man i don't know how that's gonna work we do want to look at this y'all let me know if they need to change those things are y'all just having issues with shooting anyway and then like this right here my man says uh this is chad Benz. he says that the game says that's a bad shot for him bad shot selection in my mind it is a bad shot selection. I'm gonna tell you why. In my, I'm in my mind, it is. I mean, cause this dude is blast ass open, bro. Why don't you just pass it to the guy and let him dunk the basketball? Just dunk it. It's a wide open dunk. I don't get it. But 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 rather than that, we want to shoot the fade. And like I said, playing NBA 2K, we have been able to rely on our shooting to circumvent doing the right basketball play so often that we think that is normal and it shouldn't be like that like people just don't pass the basketball like you see me standing in the corner in the house of randoms all the time and i just never get the ball but i'm shooting the highest percentage in the entire game it, it, it just is what it is man last but not least hey we got my boy splashy he says splashy says hey went the pro-am and purposely uh tried to shoot slightly early so we already said that right there and we, and we talked about that man uh then last but not least my guy Don work says hey man <laughs> this is what i said in the wreck the point guard somebody said this is kind of like what i'm saying but in the wreck the point guard can't score the ball if the, if the point guard can't score the ball uh you're going to lose other people only score when the point guard is cooking and then uh and people have to help uh if they don't have to help because he's boxed nobody else is gonna get open and then down work he definitely says something that i agree with the thing is that people can also can also get themselves open through running uh through moving off the ball uh everyone doesn't have to be a cone but the problem is everyone wants to move at the same time and and what happens is mfs mfs end up taking each other's opportunities away that's a fact it boggles the mind um how these dudes don't <laughs> don't see what they are doing and uh how detrimental it is to scoring he's absolutely right with that one man a lot of times that's what we do we move we move at the same time and i don't understand why that happens but everybody sees the same thing and everybody goes at the same time sometimes you got to have a designated cutter but yeah you can get open by yourself in this game but a lot of times when you get open the guy just don't see you unless you go on that backdoor cut so you're gonna be just standing there being like in the, in the corner it's gonna be long. lonely i'm mr lonely that's how it's gonna be man but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like I'm, I'm, I see the issue. I'm not experiencing the issue, but it must be an issue if, if everybody's having the same issue or everybody's doing the same thing incorrectly or what have you. I don't know, man. But I do realize that there's some things in this game that are the game is not going to allow you to do certain things. And I have recognized those right, wrong, or indifferent. I recognize that this game won't let me do certain things that I like to do and I have to adjust accordingly. And I think that rather than adjusting to those things accordingly, we just want to do what we want to do. So we just got to get Mike to change this stuff, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments because, because being comp is just being about being better than everybody else and being able to shit on people that are less than you than it is about actually playing good basketball. Cause a lot of times the people just look at them guys as y'all just cheese the game. Y'all cheese the game. 
y'all play the same way cheese the game you don't play true to what basketball is and uh now that you can't do that anymore and just use it to completely on somebody else now you're upset but you weren't upset when we were going through it trying to have to guard that stuff that's what a lot of people are looking at it right like i said right wrong and different i don't care i'm a Cavs. and y'all see i put up random i put up gameplay with randoms and that's who i play with so i'm i don't got no dog in the fight let me know what y'all think now in the comment section man and i will holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please, guys, please.